All right, everyone. I'm here. It took a long time. It took me eight minutes. I'm sorry. Sorry for the wait. Oh, man. All right. Thank you guys for joining me today in another stream, another live stream for the Blender Grease Monkey. You are the Blender Monkey. I am the Blender Monkey. We are all Blender Monkeys. It's just going to be another stream. It's the Tuesday stream. Uh, so I kind of have a vague idea what I'm going to be making. But we're going to stumble along the way. My aim is to make a cool image by the end of this. Something similar to the thumbnail. The thumbnail is last week's image that I made. <gasps> so hopefully that's good, Ferd. Good to see you, as always. Glad to see you. Glad you're here. Glad you're hanging, as always. As I stumble through making another artwork. Art piece. Art thing. So let me... Still get ready here. All right. All right. I got my coffee. I'm ready. How's how's it going? How's your week been treating you, Ferd? How tis life out there in Canada? The land up north. All right, let's see. Let's set up some. Let's shut up some stuff. All right, let's set up our. Let's set up our viewport. We're gonna do uh, thirteen fifty by ten eighty. No, we're gonna do ten eighty by thirteen fifty. Uh, we got our scene here. We got 120 whatever lens. Let's do a 50 millimeter lens. Let's uh, let's set up our our land here. Put this up. Maybe we'll tilt this down a little bit. We're just gonna do some preliminary setup here. We're gonna rotate on the X. Maybe it should be 85 degrees. So we have a uh, 75 degrees. Nope, 85. 85 degrees just so we have a slight tilt we'll bring up our cube here we'll make um human size so we'll do 0 0.7 by 0 0.7 by 1.7 and that seems about the size of a standard human i'm just kidding what is a standard human what does it mean to be standard uh, set origin to 3d cursor there we go uh, we can set up our ground plane here we'll make it kind of big uh, our viewport we'll set it to 5,000 because we're gonna make a monumental scene as we usually do here or as I usually want to do here okay 5,000 we're clipped we are big, we are large, and in charge. There we go. Our camera is looking pretty cool. Also, what what is happening here? Why is this sticking out from the bottom? There we go. Set to 3D cursor. What? What is happening? Hold on. Already. Oh, okay. My scale needs to be applied. Good. Usually Alt G resets this back to the center point. Hold on a second, what's happening? Okay, my cube is at the center. Let's try this again. Okay, I think we're good now. All right, we got our lone cube, the size of a general human, human here, looking great. So on today's, today's, on today's artwork, what I want to make, what's in my vision, what's in my mind is maybe a camera looking upwards at a structure. Maybe we're in the depths of a hole or, so I don't want an, uh, an above camera, right? Cause the last two we were doing like, 
like these big wide above cameras maybe i want something underneath maybe something closer to the ground closer to human level and then we show it that way that's how we show the monumentalness right like 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 eye level floor level even maybe beneath floor level that's that's kind of what i i want to to try and aim for here so that that those are my thoughts that's all I, that's that's all my thoughts i have right now so that's what we're gonna do uh so we're gonna import some stuff from my previous from my previous uh stuff it makes things easier it makes things faster and it keeps my live streams around three hours i would love it if i could do it in two hours wouldn't that be great two hours maybe not maybe 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 not for the people who like watching maybe they want it to be longer uh, and that's fine that's great that's that's good stuff uh so let's get my fog material here it's under the world settings uh and there we go automatically puts this in here that's how i control the fog so let me put all the utility objects in the utility util utility collection there we go uh and then we got our normal collection here a main collection so there we go oh i forgot to say that i'm streaming on the i think i did let's see streaming now boom announcement made on discord boom let's go let's go bro okay cool so we got uh, our scene here uh and we're making it all right we're just gonna go so let's go to our world the first thing i want to set up is my fog here's the, here's the fog it looks it looks intense it looks intense there's something about this fog that i actually want to fix i actually don't want the fog to be from camera to you know so from the camera view to the back what i actually want today is from the bottom of the floor upwards so let's rotate this on the x 90 or is it negative 90 negative 90 there we go and you can kind of see that the the plane on the left side here the the fog kind of ends obviously I, i'm gonna i'm gonna bring this upwards so it kind of encompasses it let's see what it looks like from camera all right let's see it's interesting what what's happening here we may have to set a couple settings for our volumetrics in here so let's go into our settings go to volumetrics we're going to do yep it's already set to shadow never mind i already have it uh set here uh and then for shadows yep good 1024 blah 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 so our shadows are really good okay cool so now let's do some tweaking onto the fog uh this is not going to be permanent i may even not take it nothing is permanent everything is ethereal that's how life is life comes at you life happens when you're too busy planning right so when you plan you plan things in your life uh that's that's our little that's our human brains thinking that we can control every variable you know you gotta go with the flow life comes at you and you just gotta relax all right so let's set up uh this fog so i'm just gonna mess around with these fog settings here in the world settings all right We'll divide it i think it it ends up looking kind of weird in the camera i may not actually do this i thought this would work i thought in theory this would work so let's see what's interesting is it doesn't change the front here like even if i brought it closer it doesn't matter i may not do this fog i may not i may not do it we, we may do it a different way um let me put b spline instead let's see what that does for us all right let me change these colors okay that changes that and let me change it to this all right so for right now let's just add the fog normal from from the camera to the back so you can see i can move the thing here 
the, the, the empty and it kind of gives me that fog that I want. So it's already good, right? It's already good. We're done. Hit print. Send it. Send it to the printers. Send it. Send it there. You know, it's crazy how, you know, we have like artificial intelligence that can analyze everything. Uh, but we still can't get a plug and play printer. You know what I mean? Like printers take forever to set up. You have to be like fiddling with like ink and all that stuff and 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 big ink cartridge is all mad at you because they want you to use their ink they don't want you to be filling it up like what i would do is i would get the cartridge refill it up with my own ink i'm going on a tangent let's change this to some colors i like instead of orange let's do like uh let's do like uh let's do like a purple purple let's see if i can also uh make it two colors so i'm gonna add in a color ramp in between the color ramp just does it from light to dark so let's add in the purple to this one and let's put a blue here and see what if that does anything for us we'll do it here uh and then we'll put the the ramp here we'll also take off this white which is silly uh oh not emissions we'll put it under color there it is all right see now we get we get some pinks and, and stuff in there uh kind of intense we may skip this as well. I just like the experiment here. Uh, that's good. What if we put the, the emissions to point one? And there we go. See, we got that nice, that nice creamy, creamy cotton candy color. I like, huh? Huh? There's another thing I want to try out. Last thing is I'll do a mix shader. Uh, we'll do the light path as usual, as usual here. Light path. Uh, and we'll do camera rain and we'll put this at the bottom and see what that looks like. It doesn't look like anything. It doesn't, doesn't do anything. So between this and this, nothing happens, right? Yeah, no, nothing, nothing too different. Oh, I think there's like a slight difference. Let me see. Hold on. Nope. There's no difference. I'm a dummy. Let's just uh, erase this. We'll keep it trucking. All right, cool. We got some nice creamy cotton candy colors. My favorite cotton candy. I don't like, you know, it's funny. I don't like cotton candy. Well, at least the cotton candy flavors. Uh, because there's no there's no reason not to like something. But cotton candy flavors, not too big, too fan of it. Funny enough, Coca-Cola has, um, Coca-Cola has a soda called like Star Midnight something. And that tastes like cotton candy. And I like that soda. So what am I talking about? Anyway, so my world is set up. We're looking good. Now what I'm going to do is set up on the camera. I'm going to set up some composition lines, some rule lines. These are just guidelines. These aren't strict rules. I'm going to cut up the screen and I'm going to put it on to this screen as well, just so we can see it here. All right, let's see. Put this on here. We'll take off everything. Uh, Except our white lines there you can barely see them you can barely see them there but we got the thirds and the center you'll see them especially here but I'm gonna change them since we're using such bright beautiful colors oh I absolutely love this world setup is that a volume principle shader yes it is it is it is it is uh, uh, how do you I, I say your name Sri Lita Sri Lita Trilitia, yes, yes. What it is, it's it's a it's a principal it's a principal world, right? Um, and for the density, so the, don't pay attention to the color right now. For the density, I put it under a divide. This is how we control how strong it is, you know, with the colors and stuff. Uh, it's under a color ramp. This really doesn't affect it too much. I just have it here for fun. Attach a gradient texture to it. Boom. Put a mapping on it. This is just so we can flip it to 90 degrees. This is the only important thing. And then we set it to uh, an object, right? And the object is this empty, right? So this empty, we'll just put this, we'll, we'll, we'll name it actually fog controller. So uh, we put the object here as fog controller, put this as an object. And now this actually controls the fog. So if I could push this fog backwards, right? Into the scene uh, and make it stronger pink. So you can both, most see it from the top view, see? see here so here's the camera our cube is over here somewhere uh, and you can see it goes from blue to this white color and that's what's happening like right here 
uh, and into a pink and that's how I'm controlling uh, the fog. Shreeli is the shortcut basically. It looks so nice. Honestly, I feel so pastel-y recently. This is inspirational. Pastels are great. Pastels are great. I love pastels. I love soft looking colors. I also am a very big fan of gradients. Um, so anytime I can get a good gradient in there, uh, I try to I try to set that up. So, all right, cool. So that's set up. Uh, there's one other last thing I want to do. Uh, I'm gonna do 3D viewport, uh, and then I have something here that I want to change. And what I want to change is the camera lines. You'll see it now once I change it into a weird color. I'm just looking for it now. I think they're white right now. So let's see. Is this white? That's face. Last selected. Camera path. View overlay. There it is. Let's change this to white. Or you can see it on the color now. Uh, I'll change it to something vibrant. Like maybe like this dark purple color. Not just in the cube. The fog is everywhere. Not just in the cube. Yes, the fog is everywhere. So I'm doing this in the world right here right so under the world i have a fog and instead of it being like on an object there's no texture i have no materials right now on anything what's it affecting it's the world so under the world output the fog is everywhere you love gradients any tricks to reducing banding this is common issue in video good question for erd so what banding um the first thing you want to do i always forget to do this in the beginning of my live streams when i'm when you're using fog right light set up for the world never thought of that yes very good all right so when you're setting up uh so banding usually happens because of the uh uh, how do I say the the quality setting that you have so depending on your computer your computer may not be able to handle it But a couple of things you could do is you could change the tile size of the fog uh, Higher to two, right? So if you have it at 16 um, It's just I you can't really tell here, but if you have it at 16 uh, It's more likely to cause banding uh, So put the samples up If I have it right now, I have look sample one nothing sample two three four you can start seeing this banding now, right? Like uh, sample six, seven, you can start seeing the color banding there. So just make sure that this number is something high. I do 64, it makes it a lot smoother. Makes it a lot nicer. Um, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, it has to do with uh, samples. Working with Eevee or Cycles. This is Eevee, Eevee. When these live streams, I like to work with Eevee because it's faster people like using Eevee because it's easier on the computer uh, you don't need like an intense rendering machine uh, so it's definitely an Eevee all right so okay we got our camera set up we got our world set up explained we can obviously change these colors whenever we want in the world setting we got our, our life-size human here uh, and like I said I wanted to make something monumental but i don't want the camera to be above that's what i did in my last two images the camera's like way above showing like the scale of things i want to show the scale down from down on the ground floor i'm trying to switch it up I'm trying to trying to dip and dive and dodge here um, 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 um so yes so let's figure out our composition first and i'm just going to do this with cubes and blocks uh, and I have these guides here to help me out. So let's say we are the camera. So here we are. I'm also going to take this off since we were going to be seeing it on the right side here. Uh, I want, I'm going to hit uh, shift and tilde and use the WADS keys. And we're going to move this forward. Uh, and now we're getting into the pink range. Uh, so let me, let me fix that by moving my cube, my fog cube further back here. There it is. And now we're getting the blues up in front, pinks out in the back. Okay. Uh, uh, I And also, side note, I also am doing this color gradient thing for the purpose of the live stream. It's It looks nice when somebody joins in and looks at it and they think it's beautiful. Normally, by myself, I know that this is what it's going to look like and I'll leave this for last. Right? I'd be working on like this way first. Um, and maybe I'll do that here. But I would be working without the render. 
I'm only doing the the render view for for the pretty views, guys. For you guys to be like, ah, give you a taste of what's coming up, right? Anyway, so let's let's figure out something monumental here, uh, and I'm going to use. Uh, I have a kit bash. Very considerate. Thank you. Very considerate. Why? <laughs> no problem. It does get you to stick around, and it gets people to click on it. So, while it is considerate, it is also for my benefit as well. <laughs> All right. So, uh, I have a kit bash kit that I've collected throughout the years. You could definitely make your own. Uh, I have bought these elements in the past. So I have like these. Uh, let me. No, no, that's not what I want. Buildings. I have these buildings that are just here that I'm going to start using to figure out, you know, what I want to do here. I want something to this to be monumental. I want it to be like this looming building, like you're going into work and you've sold your soul to the devil and you're going to be working for corporate America and you're there uh, as a marketer trying to sell things, people they don't want, try to sell people, try to sell people things they don't want, not sell people anyway. So let's find a uh, tall building or make a small building, a tall building. So let's let's play with a couple of these. So I have my my view here looking good. Um, we have our camera. It's kind of not wide. It's at 50. So let's actually make it wide. Let's make it 28. So we're really going to see this this person like looking up at this this uh, this thing here. Right. So I'm going to adjust the camera just so uh, my point of interest kelly what's up homie and ho of homies <laughs> kelly good to see you thanks for the super chat i appreciate it of as like always all right so we're gonna put this at a point of interest here we just put them at the line so i'm just lining them up here so we could see uh the 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 building that's gonna be here probably on the right maybe in the center maybe in the center maybe we'll, we'll do a big center where do you get your library of buildings from, Kelly says. Uh, Kelly, I have, uh, in the past, I've went online. I have bought different image, uh, different sets, like cgtrader.com, uh, blend swap, you know, like blend swap. I'm going to put it in the chat. Blendswap.com, uh, cgtrader. There's some free ones in there, but you have to pay, and I have paid. Blend, uh, cgtrader, blend swap, um, and honestly just look for like gumroad uh and people have buildings out there so definitely i just gathered them throughout the years so i'm just going to put in a skyscraper here let's put them right what's crazy is that there it is okay so there's that looming skyscraper in the distance let's actually make our land our, our land mass much bigger uh and we could see our building is here uh, if we're looking at our building, this building, just even at this distance, is like a 17 meter building. So what is the average length of a building? Let's see. Let's see what that is. Um, average skyscraper height. Let's figure that out. Blah, blah, blah getting taller in 2000 for example the average height of the tallest 100 completed buildings uh was around 256 meters so or 285 meters excuse me so that's what you know people are saying here 285 meters is a pretty tall building uh and in 2018 that number was oh was about 385 it went up 100 meters within like uh, 18 about 20 years two decades so maybe we'll go around the 300 meter mark and that's how tall we'll make our building okay um so let's do that so right now we're, we, we clicked on our building we can see that our meter on the z-axis is 17 so i'm just gonna make this bigger until it reaches three 300 i don't know i don't know if this is gonna be a good idea maybe it should be smaller Look at this. Oh my God, it's encompassing everything. We're in the building now. Okay, we're at 500. Let's bring it down to 300. There we go. All right, let's see if we can push this in a direction that makes sense. We may have to cheat this. This may be too big. Um, let me make sure that my camera's... 
my camera's clipping as far, so I'm gonna put 10,000, one, two, three. And I'm also gonna do it for the view. This is so, I don't know, it doesn't, doesn't take it away. Does it not even see it? Is it, is it just invisible? Oh my God. How come I can't even see it in here? All right, it's that huge, huh? Oh, there it is, there it is. It's over here. I think it's too big. Sri Lee? Sri Lee! I think so too. I think so too. Oh, Sri Lee, you asked if I prefer working in Eevee. Oh, yeah, I answered that already. Yes, I prefer working. I like cycles, but. Um, But for live streams, I do do Eevee because it's more attainable or whatever. Okay, so maybe it is too big, right? Like, like if we go in here, let's go into the camera. Let's see. This thing's huge. Oh, my God. Monumental. There we go. All right, so for right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the fog. And we're just going to put in a sun lamp here real quick. And I think you're absolutely right. This is just way too big. I guess we can't do some real scale stuff, huh? There it is. Okay. All right, we got this looming building over here. All right, so now we know the, these these are in frame, but I may may cheat it and may make it smaller. It already is smaller since it's not it's coming through the ground. So maybe we have let's see if we can we can line this up a little better. We'll put this right about there. We got this looming building. All right, if we put back the fog, we won't be able to see it, right? That's my issue here. Yes, we lose we lose it we lose it. Let's see if we can dim down the fog. GM, on casual observation, it seems your process is good for making pieces of still art, not permanent backgrounds for comics per se. Uh, no, this process could work for anything. <laughs> I just spend three hours on a live stream uh, and you only see three hours of a process. Uh, and I'm condensing it down to three hours, three, four hours. But if I wanted to, I could continue the, sh the, the, the artwork I made last week, last Thursday or last Tuesday. Uh, and continue building on it uh, a full work day that I usually do at my day job is a 10 hour day I'm doing literally a third of my work hours on a live stream so times the amount of oh and I also have to be like entertaining and I also have to make sure it looks good and do all the stuff or whatever uh, so no uh, I think this process could work for whatever whatever you you want it to work for would you be, reuse, be able to reuse it for a comic book? I think it's very specific that you're saying for a comic book. I'm not sure what difference it would be using this for a comic book or using this for a game or using this for anything. I don't I don't see the, the distinction unless you, you're specifically asking something. And then Shreeli says, would it be weird for me to ask if perhaps we can, us watchers, could get a screenshot of your world nodes set up? Uh, well, what you could do is... I could set up the world setup here. Let's see if I can get it all on one screen.
All right, so I'm gonna leave it on this screen for a little bit. And you can screenshot your screen. If you have any questions of which ones are which. Go ahead, but there it is. Let's see if I can get it bigger there. Ugh. All right, and don't forget you need a you need an empty object to connect the the object to here. All right, let's see if I could fix this. So we will be able to see the thing. Soapy grenade just popping into in what's Fandango Mango in going on here. Good to see ya. Soapy grenade. We're just making a scene, making a little city scene. But Grease Monkey, it seems that this would be good for a standalone piece of art, but not integrated in a background I would use over and over again. Uh, I'm not sure what you're asking, <laughs> Kelly. But uh, Kelly, this can be used as a piece of art, and that's what I'm making right now. Um, but for like, are you talking about you specifically, Kelly? You want me to make an artwork that you can reuse? Is that what you're asking? Like you personally, or are you talking about in a general sense? Let's see if I can scene set up for comic backgrounds. Uh, I mean, you could use this for a comic background. I just, I don't see, I don't see what you're saying. If you don't think it could be used for a comic background, then it can. I'm saying it can, but if you don't, if you disagree with me, then that's fine. All good. I'm sorry that you won't be able to reuse it as a comic background. <laughs> I'm thinking Blender could be a fast way to make backgrounds. It can. Blender could do a lot of things. All right. I can't see this, this thing, man. It's kind of crazy. There, I can see it there. I wonder if I just have to move... Uh, the cube here. Let's move the fog. There it is. Now if only I could figure out how to sculpt in Blender. I'm not able to express what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I know. Words, words are hard sometimes. I can agree with that. Okay, this is looking a little closer to what I want. I just need to see where this fog control is. Okay. Oh, look at that band in. Is that? I think that's happening because of the distance. Let's see. Now we can answer Ferd's question more directly since it's now happening to me. Let's see. Is it samples? Let's put 128. It did fix it a bit. But man, do I have to crank this up? Yeah, I do. So it definitely has to do with the samples. <laughs> uh, let's, put, let's put it back to 64. Uh, and put the distribution down or up to one. So we'll leave it like that. GM, did you learn 
Fight animations by watching old animated fight scenes and tracing over them in a program like Grease Pencil. Fight animations. Kelly, what, what makes you think... Uh, do I have any artwork where I did fight animations? I know you are an animator. Uh, I would say I would. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So I am learning how to animate and I am learning how to draw and I'm learning how to do that. So I, I wouldn't say I'm super confident in that type of stuff. Uh, so I wouldn't be. I don't think I'm equipped to answer you, your, your question, unfortunately. If somebody else in chat, though, whoever's hanging out here can help my boy Kelly here, maybe that would be better. I do a good draw. I'd be glad to give pointers. Soapy Grenade, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so see, what's happening here, guys, what's happening here is that I'm getting caught up in the details and this is what makes things take a long time so uh we're gonna we're gonna put we're gonna put this fog away for a second we're gonna stop getting getting caught up in this fog uh and we're gonna we're gonna go back to compositing all right so let's composite this shot to be what i want it to be uh so let's go back and let's figure out some interesting things we can do here. Um, let's add in some more buildings. So let's add those. I'm 45 minutes in, right? I gotta get, I gotta be a little quicker here. All right, so there's something here happening. I think it's the ambient occlusion. I'm gonna take that off for a second. Let's break up the silhouette here. Silhouette of the building. All right. Let's add some buildings in the back. We're just playing now with the compositing before we start getting into all that nitty gritty malarkey that I was getting into right there. Hello, Jiraj. Good to see you. All right, let's 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 eat up some of this negative space here, and see if we can center our guy a little bit further here. There we go. Maybe we can move this a little further back. All right. Grease Monkey, you're pretty good at energy effects and Grease Pencil for a machine. Kelly, my energy effects are done in a material. They're done in shaders. They're not necessarily done in Grease Pencil. If I were to do a Grease Pencil uh, anima uh, uh, energy, it would be like me drawing those frame by frame. But all my energy materials are shaders. You can download them. You can, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know if you've downloaded them, but you do you do see that they are materials, Kelly. They're materials. All right, let's keep going. You can use them with grease pencil in the same way that you can use 3D objects with grease pencils, but a 3D object isn't a grease pencil. <laughs> I have, but I haven't really had time to go through them yet. Yeah, so if you notice those material, I have uh, trying to make Hurricane Monster with one of your energy materials right now. So yeah, you you, you said it yourself. You're, you're using energy materials. I don't think it's a, I don't think it's related to grease pencil. You can use them with grease pencil though. 
All right, so let's keep it going. All right, so maybe this building is not the center of attention. Maybe there's something even more center. This guy's just looking at him. Let's make him a little thinner for right now. We'll do 0 0.5, 0 0.5. I'm gonna do a little block in here. There we go. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm gonna keep looking at the left here and we're gonna keep setting up a scene. Um, I'm gonna use uh, an orb. This scene's huge. Maybe I shouldn't be working this big. Like, look at this, like, weird clipping that I'm getting over here. Is that because of my view? Let's see. It is. Look at that. See all that nastiness? Anytime you're working with, like, uh, uh, big, big, th big things, the clipping start here. If you put it, like, at 0 .001, you see, look at this. It's just nasty. This looks gross so I'm just gonna bring it up so it doesn't do that anymore so we'll do it at point we'll do point three we're gonna fix some of that that nasty viewport stuff okay cool so there you go I guess it wasn't ambient inclusion doing it uh, we'll have it on for now though okay so let me make a UV sphere I just want to see all right I'm just gonna make something real quick here just put in the normals Just something real quick to potentially make here. Something large, something looming. Maybe it's a tentacle monster. It's going between the buildings. Maybe it's looking right at our character here. Uh, we'll change up our lighting. So let's rotate that light. It would be weird for the sun to be like coming upwards, you know? So we're, we're switching out the light. Uh, let's put in a just a standard uh, light here, so or background. So let's do input ba -ba 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 -ba. background. I think, I think that's what it is. Okay. Background. Okay. Let's put in this background here. All right, let's just do a standard like little gradient in the background before we add in any volume stuff. If we do the volume now, it's like really, like look at that, that's looking, it's looking weird. Fog is too strong. We may have to do something else about this fog because the fog is throwing it off. So we're, we're just going to work with gradients for right now. Um, we're going to go into, uh, we're going to do, we're going to do this whole thing right here. Boom. Shove it in. Um, and we'll put this at the end. Control T. You generated. We'll do 90 degrees, uh, and then we'll move this up and down till we see it. Nope. I can't see the gradient. Hold on, I gotta look at it from like a different view here. All right, let's change it colors. I need to be able to see the difference here. So purple. And we'll do like a pink color or a blue color. Do them cotton candy colors. Okay. And then on the Y, okay, we rotate it the Y90. 
There it is. There's our gradient. And then we'll bring this. Or is it X? It's X. There it is. Okay, we're, we're going to do this type of gradient for now until we can figure out that fog situation. Because we don't have time. We don't. We just don't have time, guys. Okay. We're going to bring that up. Um, we're going to do a mix shader. Because I want to be able to control some of this stuff. So, shader. Mix shader. Um, we're going to just do a whole copy of this. Actually, we don't need to do a whole copy. We just do that. Okay. And then we'll do this. And then we'll do a light input. And this is just so I can have the color and control how much light is actually hitting it because this is not realistic. So we don't need realistic numbers. So we're going to put camera right there. Now I can control the background, how bright it is. And I can also control the foreground and how much it's getting from the background kind of give it more of a stylized look here all right we'll leave it like that I just I just wanted the control for right now okay cool so we have we have something going on there that's good we're going okay so Let's control our land here. Let's make it go a little further. Um, and let's go back into our camera uh, and see if we can position this even better. So let's go into our camera. You know, maybe it should be a uh, wider lens or not wider lens. Let's test out both lenses. Let's keep messing with the composition here. Okay, so we got a 28 lens. We can go super wide. Look at this, we could do it at one millimeter, which looks ridiculous, let's see. <laughs> we could do it at 11 millimeters something super super stylized here looking looking ridiculous <laughs> all right uh so that's all good 28 is pretty good uh let's see what it looks like i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna i'm gonna make a second camera because i like this camera uh and we're gonna we're gonna lock it in by making it not selectable uh, but then I'm going to duplicate it. Uh, we'll make this not selectable. And we will move this camera. Let's see where it's at right now. Uh, and then we'll do control zero, num numpad zero. All right. And now that makes this the main camera. So let's see if we could find out, uh, find a different, a different angle here, like with a different lens. Even though I do like the other one. Let's do 110. Let's see what it looks like compressed. So there's our, our scene here. Uh, I'm going to definitely control the Z axis down here. So let's let it be at zero. Maybe just above the ground floor. So this is like right on the ground floor. Um, we're going to tilt it zero like this. Tilt it up like that. All right, so here's another s type of shot where you can barely even see the little character down here. Uh, I'm going to add in a second character. I'm going to put in char.000. Uh, and we're going to duplicate it. Oop. And we'll put them over here too. So we have two. 
super tiny there uh, I don't know if that works or if we should get in closer and look f further up but man this is like super tight so let's keep messing with this camera maybe instead of huh maybe instead of a uh, hundred we'll do like 80 and we'll bring it in closer bring it in closer maybe rotate it a bit upwards could, could bring attention to them by making them contrasting colors that's true that's true I just I guess the way I see it is like they're so tiny like like this tiny little pixel here but yeah you're you're definitely right this is one of the hardest things to figure out I always struggle with the right FOV it it is a struggle but it is the most fun you know what I mean like you know let's let, let me put them side by side here both cameras so let me put a different viewport we'll do two viewports here uh, and we're gonna put both cameras so let me put them in here so the view local camera we'll do this one and then for Uh, this guy we will do view local camera yeah this camera the, the second one that we have all right so we got we got both of them here right uh, and I think they both feel a certain way right you know how does the left one make you feel how does the right one make you feel with the right one you know let's add in some like somewhat like a like some some danger you know what i mean the round object definitely feels better on the right it does it does is it because of the, it's probably because of the lighting right what if we added in a light underneath it hold on i'm gonna put a point light i'm gonna bring it down all right we're gonna put it to like ten thousand okay uh, and then we're gonna make it large we can even change it colors it could be something that matches or it causes it something there we can make it even larger we could put an area light rotate it on the X 180 we can make it super large uh, bring it down instead of blue it could be probably like a it it's just more round and defined on the right you know what I mean on the left it's far less menacing yeah so let's try and make it more menacing on the left side let's add in some lights let's times this by two let's see if we can make it more menacing times it by two uh, there we go we're, we're getting we're getting some some light underneath it you know and then we can rotate this a little bit better so you can look at it I want it to be kind of looking at an angle something so it could be this stuff of shading could be done a little later but we'll put the light in there for now just to play with uh, you're right the right does look a little bit more menacing so what we'll do is for these little guys down here we will put in the material we'll call them char The big difference is the blue sky. Okay, that's a good good observation. We'll call this char.000. Uh, we're going to make this dark. Let's make it dark. Uh, and let's make this guy dark too. Char. There you go. Just so we can see this a little better, that contrast. Now the right one is just as menacing. The big difference now is the blue sky. Okay, so see see how tiny they read down here? They're like super tiny. They're super tiny people down there. Okay, so the blue sky does make a difference. Let's see if we can uh, do some adjusting here for that blue sky. Yeah, we'll have to change the whole settings here. Let me try. Let me try doing this. 
we're gonna have two different setups here okay I've heard the following a high focal value lets you observe the object a low focal value lets you be with the object okay I like that I like that so let's see what do we want do we want to be with the object or do we want to observe do we want to be with the object or do we want to observe let's let me think which one I want more I think I want to be with the object so we're gonna choose the one on the left I think that's a good thank you for the thank you for that we'll do that we'll do that so let's abandon this idea. We're already an hour in, right? We will we will erase that camera and we'll just continue to focus on this one. Okay, let's see how we can make this one better. It was a good good little detour. Uh but you know detours are detours have to be made and, and we're we're having fun here, right? Um so there's a couple of things I wanted to do like Like it doesn't have to be this like circular object or anything, um, but let's see if we can add in some some curve stuff here. So I'm gonna do a Bezier. I'm gonna do a Bezier curve here. I'm kind of getting Neon Genesis Evangelion vibes from this, which is a good anime. The way I see it, the one on the right feels a bit more like a poster for a movie, while the one on the left feels like a shot from the actual movie. Jiraj, you just sub cemented it even more. I want the shot from the movie, not the poster. Okay. So let's let's keep it going here. I'm going to erase all the points, and I'm just going to start uh, doing some stuff here. Like, um, what is it? Where is it? Here. I want to just draw this, uh, uh, and let's give it some 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 thickness here. Okay, cool. Let's erase this. All right, we'll do surface. Oh my god, what's happening here? Let's go back to our solid view. The last in the end, General Evangelist was done in Blender in a large part. Wait a moment, you can make meshes from grease pencils, strokes? Yes, I'm a noob. I've only ever done lighting, artistic things, not creational. Uh, so really, so what I'm doing is, if you create a Bezier, so if you create a Bezier, uh, when you're in the edit mode of the Bezier, under the tools on the left, you can click on draw. So it's not grease pencil, it is using the Bezier stuff, the Bezier tools. Uh, and then you can draw using the Bezier. And that's what I'm doing here. Uh, and I'm kind of playing around with it. I think what I want to do also do uh, is add some buildings behind, uh, only because... Hold on, let me go back here. Only because I want things to attach to. So let's let me just put in some extra buildings here, just for just for a look here. This one is creating a shadow. I don't know if that's going to be good or not. Although you can convert grease pencils to mesh to some extent. Yes, what Jiraj said too. Uh, from, I mean, I don't, uh, I, I, I'm using grease pencil offline until I get good enough where I can like make more videos on it. I don't, I still don't feel comfortable with grease pencil, but I do always find the converting grease pencil objects and doing all that stuff, just like a hindrance. <laughs> it usually messes with my flow. 
Uh, but, you know, that's probably just something I have to get over. Alright, so all I'm trying to do here is connect these these lines. Making these, like, little noodle hands. Maybe it's like a parasite coming in, right? <laughs> what is happening? Oh, I should make the, the floor not selectable, right? Maybe that's what it is. So let's make the, the ground plane. Ground. Make it not not part of the, the render here. Would that help? Does it still touch the, the floor? It does. All right, let's make the, f the ground go away. <laughs> Maybe that, that'll help. I'm gonna look at it from above. Can we do this? There we go, this, this is more or less kind of like a vibe I'm going for. Going for vibes. Jarrah says colors don't transfer at the moment when you do the conversion with grease pencil. I'm noodling. It's noodling onto the meshes. Yes, we're gonna we're gonna noodle and we're gonna do a four. We're gonna do five five tendrils. I don't know where the last tendril should be. Maybe not covering the camera. Maybe coming down from back here or something. Maybe something that follows. Huh. All right. So what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Yeah, we'll just make one more here. There we go. Uh, and we're going to see if we can make this one kind of lead the eye to the character here. So we'll shift them. We'll shift the, the little tendril around until it makes sense here. Maybe something down here. Let's bring back the floor. Okay. All right. This is just an idea I'm playing with. I don't know if this is going to be the final thing or not. So we'll just keep it going. Sometimes you just got to play until it makes, until it, it, it could potentially make sense. Sometimes it still doesn't make sense. You know, maybe this works. Okay. Huh, something like this. Maybe it goes behind a skyline. Let's let's look at our lines again in our camera. All right. So we got this line going up up here. Let's see. Maybe I should bring this up up to that line let's actually just make it bigger like that just up to that line there we go uh, let's see maybe I could duplicate this bring it up to this line maybe it comes up to this line just because it's closer so something like this Uh, I don't like the duplicating shape, so let's bring up another building in here. Let's bring... Let's bring another building in here. I just... They're so they all they're all basically similar buildings, but I'm always like, but which one? Which one should I bring in? Okay, let's bring this one. It's upside down. Let me make sure it's not upside down. Alright, we'll bring this a little further down. Alright, let's see. Stretch it out a bit. Maybe rotate it. Just trying to trying to break some stuff up here. Maybe bring this a little further back. This 
this is off topic but have you ever experienced have you ever experienced with some of sort of musical software gm yes i have i have i have i have experimented i'm not good with sound i'm definitely a visual person um but yes why do you ask Alright. Charlene, I love your lighting so far. So far, like you put it in parentheses. He says, like, you can still screw it up, Grease Monkey. You can still screw it all up. I like the lighting so far. Hmm. <laughs> but yes, I get it. I, I'm just kidding. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay. I think we're getting the, the buildings good. Uh... Just curious what you use, etc. Because I there has been this through my mind for quite some time. All right, Jiraj. So I've used a lot of stuff. Obviously, the professional stuff like uh, FL Studios. Um, you know what is it called? Uh, Logic, right? There's obviously some free software. Let me see what it's called. Hold on. All right, so there's, yeah, uh, on Mac I use Logic. So you can use Logic. There's plenty of other DAWs and music apps. Yes, definitely. There's and there's a learning and and Josh, there's a learning curve for all of it. Like not only are you learning the DAW, the music software, you're also learning, um, like, you know, music and theory and sound and how it all works and all that stuff. So yeah, so definitely Reaper. I found Reaper to be a little complicated. Uh. But I think it's all complicated. I'm a visual person. People would say Blender is complicated, and I don't see it as complicated. So this is a very biased opinion from a visual person talking about audio. But yes, uh, Logic is good. GarageBand. Honestly, if you have a Mac, just use use GarageBand in the beginning. If you want to go o open source, just our door. I, there's another one called Cakewalk. That's a, a pretty decent one, um, and that's a free one. Uh, Reaper is free. Uh, uh, Cakewalk I have the most fun with and there's uh, there's a couple more but those are the ones oh LMMS there's definitely some limitations with LMMS but I have a had make music with LMMS and it, it's pretty good it's also runs on Linux and all that stuff so if you're into if you're into that and it's open source um, but there is like I said there's gonna be a learning curve for any of them uh, so you basically you know experiments around choose which one you want I have to rewind and write these down. <laughs> yeah. There's lots of good stuff out there. Okay. Let's see. So we have our background. Blah, blah, blah. So something I want to break up here is this line. I don't like the line. So I'm going to bring up stuff in the foreground to, uh, I don't know, break, break some of this stuff up. So let's see if I have anything here. If you want to mess with modular synth, bespoke synth is fun too there you go there you go some music recommendations there's plenty out there there's plenty 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 okay let's try using some of my kit bash here see if I have anything that's like interesting looking that fits within this kind of like scene the simple scene we got going on we're an hour and 17 minutes in so let's see if we can we can break this up we can I may I may break up the scene a different way. I may break this up with some fantastical elements instead of using like more realistic elements here. All right.
trying to break up this this l harsh line at the bottom here. Oh, where's my camera? Where'd it go? There it is. All right, so. So let's bring this up here. All right, so I'm breaking it up on the right here, which is pretty good. Uh, and these would be temporary. I don't know. Maybe I don't want these. Uh, uh, let's use another one. Let's see how this looks. These are basically just blocks. We're just bringing them in. Alright, we're breaking it up on the left now. Right here. go now I want to break it up a little bit on the on the right side so let's do that maybe do one of these Breaking up the line pretty good. Let's break it up all the way here. There it is. These obviously don't make sense in like a, in like a, I don't know, a, a, a monster in a city, but sometimes I don't care. I just want it to look kind of good. All right, so let's break this all right all right now let's add a little bit more to this horizon at the the top we're gonna keep the top I think how it is so there's kind of like a lot going on down here we'll probably end up fixing that it looks funny here because it looks like look at these giant buildings nothing in between and then these tiny little elements right right in front here just for the just for the look <laughs> okay let's add in a couple buildings back here um, Go back to our buildings. Too big. Let's make them smaller. Well, honestly, this should probably go further back. Let's do that instead. So it's like some distance back here. So let's move this one behind it. Well, no, I guess we'll duplicate it. We'll also bring it in front there. major metropolitan city here. Let's make this bigger. There it is. Okay. Very busy at the bottom, I know, but then we'll make the whatever the character is at the top. Uh nice and smooth. Okay, so we're getting we're getting a little bit more set up here uh, and stuff. Um, 
I also went to there's a, a website called Texture Haven. They have models too. I got materials from here. So this is Texture Haven. Um, they got free materials. They got free textures, uh, free models, and stuff. You can download these models and stuff. Uh, and I made them into part of the asset browser here, uh, so I can add them in easily. Uh, so I'm gonna add in some stuff to see if it'll work just for fun. It may not work. It actually will most likely not work with what we're doing here. But I'm just curious if I could add something something here like what if we added giant plants <laughs> so let's see if we made this huge like what if we grab it oops grab it uh, we put on snapping Nope, here, snapping. We'll do face, rotate, align rotation to target. We'll take off snapping, because I just want to do it when I hold control. Uh, okay, I forgot one last thing on the snapping. Uh, active. There you go. Like, would it be interesting for this thing to have uh, plant stuff growing out of it? Let's see. We'll definitely change the, th the materials to be more fun and colorful. But let's see if adding in some elements here. Oh, my. Oh, it's so small. That's why. Maybe that would be an interesting. We'll put, maybe we'll make these plant things grow. We'll, we'll continue our motif from our last um, uh, image. Also, I see some sharing happening in the chat. Amazing stuff, guys. Keep on sharing. Keep on keeping on. Keep on helping. That's what this is all about. All right, I think I might do the motif from the pl from the previous plant tree. So let's let's do that. This one thing has a bunch of organic things coming from it. So let's do that. I think I'm I'm interested in this now. Let's add in another one. We're going to definitely change the material. For it. It's gonna be glowing. We're gonna make it glow. It's gonna be. It's going to be as the ch as the kids say it lit. Back in my day, reminds me of the robot from Incredibles. Ooh, yes. Reminds me of the robot from Incredibles too. Honestly, probably subconscious, or it's just an easy robot to do. <laughs> it's just an easy project to accomplish very quickly. Oh my god. Uh, I'm going to make the ground not selectable again. Uh, and I'm also going to give it its own material. Call it ground for now. Uh, and we're going to make it so it's back face culling. Because I'm tired of going under it and not being able to see. Uh, so let's turn on back face culling here. There it is. Okay, good. Just tired of going underground. Under the floor here and not being able to see. Thing. Okay, so we're adding in some plant elements here. We're going to add them all around. So let's add in... Oh, no. I mean, the robot from Incredibles is ball with legs. Easy to end up with something similar. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Definitely. And hey, man, I'm not a person who's like, But my idea is not original. But my idea... It's not original. I can't do what other people. Do. That's not me, man. Are all ideas are amalgamations of other ideas, and sometimes you have to 
Oh my god, why does it want to do this? Alright, we took off the floor for now. <laughs> so I can add these guys. Anyway, sometimes you have to, uh, you know, crank out, uh, learn why those ideas work. Do them yourselves. You know? Uh, if you really want to uh, progress as an artist, you can't just sit there and um, try to create in a vacuum. It's not good. I used to have, know somebody who would play guitar, but they would not listen to any music or any guitar riffs because he didn't want it to influence his art. And he wasn't a very good guitarist. But even if it was similar, is what I'm saying. It's okay. I think sometimes we get caught up in the in the weeds here. Pun intended with what I'm doing right now. I think sometimes we... Ha, I jammed with a drummer like that. Only ever played one beat. Could barely do a fill. Yeah, Seaford, yeah. It's just... I think people always get caught up in like this this whole circular thinking of being original and like being unique and doing all this stuff and really you're just hindering your artistic progress uh and you gotta stop because in a way what you're focusing on when you're doing that and i'm not saying to copy or trace or do stuff like that what i'm saying is when you focus on stuff like that you're no longer focusing on the craft and you're focusing on uh, your 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 approval or perception that people have of you. You know what I mean. And I was playing bass. It was kind of <laughs> kind of miserable. I bet. You know what I mean. Like I said, I I, I met I meet met plenty of those artists. All art is derivative in some way. Yes, exactly. And as long as you understand that, learn and continue. It's about the craft. It's about the craft. It's the most important thing. People lose sight of the craft. And by craft, I also mean fun. It's also about the fun. Sometimes you want to draw fan art. <laughs> it's okay. Draw that fan art. I think I like this. I think I like this whole plant situation we got going on here. Like it's like this alive mecha thing that got like those glowing plants or whatever. Ever see that cartoon about old masters? No, I have not. Okay, so we got these guys going on. All right, so there's a couple things I want to do now. Is I want to art direct these tentacles a little bit better. Also, I can see through these. Is because of the back face calling? It is. Okay, there we go. I'll try and find it and post it on your Discord. Please do. Please do. Okay. So we got plants going on. I like it. We'll probably make the middle glow or something like that. Um, but I think we are we are good. Maybe what I'll do is uh, I'll duplicate some of these. Make them a little thicker. Rotate them. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, let's make this a little thicker. Let's make a couple more. I like these little little plant tendrils we got going on. This is a lot of fun here. We're having fun. Who knew? Who knew this is where we were going with this? Nobody. Okay. We got this plant. This glowing plant thing. Kind of going through the city. Um, 
let's do a couple of things here that I want to do. Maybe we could do some fracture modifier. Do I hear a fracture modifier in the back over there? We may do a fracture modifier here, guys. This is what we may do. Oh my god, this is going to be an epic scene. Uh, epic, probably me saying that really dates me. Makes me, makes me a grandpa. Found it. Posted it on Blender chat channel. Thank you. We'll definitely check that out. All right. So I want to have this tentacle here. Kind of like it's blowing that up. Uh, maybe we get this tentacle here. Uh, and maybe something's happening in this tentacle. Share it with the stream. All right. Let me see. Alright, this is the, 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 the comic book, or the, the comic showing about art. Will I ever be as good as an old master, says the guy with the Cintiq tablet. Will I ever be as good as the old masters, says the guy drawing Bugs Bunny. Will I ever be as good as the old masters, says the guy who probably came after Da Vinci and all that. And then the old master, the caveman, who draws a sick figure giraffe. I'm the best. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It's a good example of, and people do this all the time, is like they, they move the goalposts, you know? Don't You, you, you got to compare yourself to yourself from the past, all right? Really, you should be like, am I as good? Did I improve from yesterday? Did I learn something from yesterday? And move forward. Move forward. Okay, so I like the, um, the, the bottom tentacle. I think I'm going to add in a light that comes out of there. That'll be fun. Uh, I'll move the tentacle a little bit further back, like this. Maybe we'll do a uh, decimate here, where this is being broken. Not decimate, but uh, a fracture modifier. We'll set that there. This one kind of goes off screen, so let's fix that. I like Not fix it, but make it look better going off screen here. So let's see if we can, maybe something like this. Like it's like going across. This is another reason I love your stream, Grim. Them <laughs> pearls of wisdom. Thank you. I don't feel wise, but I have made a lot of mistakes in my life. A lot, a lot of mistakes. Let me tell you something. I've looked like the fool more times than I can count. And at some point, I embraced it. <laughs> I don't mind looking like the fool at all. Okay. So this tentacle... I'm going to have it go more towards, um, let me look at it from above. I want like this whole star shape going on here. So let's move both of these guys over here. Maybe rotate this there. We'll bring this up. I'm, I'm kind of trying to fill up this little space here, just just slightly, kind of give it like a striped look. I've got that line going on there. There we go. We'll bring this further out, and we'll bring this further out. There we go. That's something. What I want. I'm gonna fix these plants so they are not intersecting with my tube here. There we go. Maybe this plant's a little big. And maybe this plant's a little big. Okay, there we go. Alright, we got these plants. They look dark. They're gonna be colorful. Don't worry. We got our uh our, our, our broke up our line there. Uh and maybe I want maybe I want some like something in the front here. Uh let's let's play around with how close our character is. Let's see if we move him. Maybe we could put something in the foreground element to kind of break it up. Okay, guys, got to go, unfortunately. I want to write down the software you mentioned and also got to read a book quickly. All right, good luck reading the book quickly. But, yes, write down the software. There's plenty more. And if uh, you need more suggestions, just go ask me on the Discord or Ferd, I assume, would be okay with that. We can make them look tinier by getting them closer over here. 
Uh, okay, so now what I want to do is I want to add in some elements in the foreground. I don't like that it's all empty up in there. So let's see, what could we add in the foreground? Should it just be another block element? Probably. There's a lot going on in this. Uh, maybe we can add in just another one of these shrink it down and place it up in front here maybe like maybe not maybe this is a little too much kind of leads our eyes as well maybe we should make it smaller and closer so far pretty interesting read if you're interested it's Chuck Amuck life of an animated cartoonist by Chuck Jones sounds like an interesting one are you still working to scale wondering how high up the orb planter thing is. I'll tell you exactly how high up it is. It is, and I am working to scale. It is 184 meters up. So pretty high up. For all you Americans, uh, that's about 147 washing machines or 200 uh, baby giraffes um, or you know the real American a couple a, a couple thousand burgers <laughs> so hopefully that you understand those are uh, those those metric systems we're here we're we're all about imperialism here So those are some huge leaves. Oh yes, they're they're monstrous leaves. <laughs> they're only that big so they read well on screen. <laughs> I think if they were any smaller, that'd be too small of details. Huge, they're huge. All right, so, um, man. I want to add some other details, but I think I think that's it, man. I think that's all we can do before, for my taste, it starts getting starts getting a little much. We're using like all this fake fake perspective and stuff too. Something like this. Look at that. Like what is even happening? What are those things on the floor? I don't know. It doesn't matter. They're aesthetic. They don't make no sense. We're just here. We got plants. We got things going on. That's cool. Okay, so let's see if we could um, make something interesting here on the arms. We're going to save because I forgot to save. Always save your projects. And it's a D looking pretty dang cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's do something cool. Let's do something different. Um, I just want to be different. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get this building, uh, and I'm going to isolate it. Uh, and I think I'm gonna cut it across. Let's see if I can cut it across. Right now, it's like all these end guns. How about wires, ropes with banners hanging off of them? Ooh, that's the next step. This stream might go a little longer than three hours. Right now we're an hour 42. I think I could do it pretty quickly. So right now I'm going to add in like he's blowing up. The de like the building is like breaking. Uh, we'll do it really simple, really quick. But the uh, the rocks are f floating. Maybe they're like a f it's like a floating energy type of situation. And then I'll make the banners coming off of the 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 the, the tentacles and maybe make the, the tentacles thinner. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel just yet. But that's a couple steps ahead. So let's let's figure out how we could cut this, and it makes sense. Let's see. 
Oh wait, this is a giant robot smashing through a city. Uh, you know what, Ferd? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, it could be uh, 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 a mechanical object that has planted itself in the city that's slowly deteriorating. It. So maybe it's not. Maybe it's sucking the the power, the mana out of the city's power grid that's running completely on solar. So. You know, it's a very healthy city, and it's sucking it up, and it's it, it needs it for its plants. It's a parasite. It could it could be either way. We're leaving it ambiguous. I have not set that in stone. What I'm just doing is I want to use the fracture modifier. I'm making an excuse to use it. <laughs> All right. So let's do that. I'm thinking of a modern take on Hanging Gardens of Babylon. I like it. We'll we'll, we'll lean towards that. All right, let's see if we can cut this all the way around and it makes sense. Oh, this is not gonna make sense at all. Okay. All right, we're having some, we're, I'm having a couple issues here, but I'm going to fix them this instant. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to look at it from the front. Uh, I'm going to erase these pieces. So erase that. F Oop. I'm going to erase this face. So let me isolate this. Let me isolate this. I have to set this up for the fracture modifier. All right. So we're going to erase that face. Erase that face. That face. This face. Okay. There you go. Now I'm going to get these corners. And... Oh, all right, let me erase this face too. All right, so I'm going to get these corners. Hit F. I'm going to hit uh, P, separate by selection. I now have this thing here, which is good. And I'm going to select it all, extrude it in the inside, kind of like this. There you go. We'll extrude it out like kind of like a square. Um, uh, I'm going to put this in its own collection. Oh, no. I have to hit M. Right. Move. Move. Remove from local view. Oh, that's what's happening. I'm in local view. OK, let's hit M. We'll call this into fracture. Also, let's do some organizing right now. Let's just let's just organize this stuff. We're gonna put these these guys in a buildings collection. Let's just do some let's just do some tidy work here. While I'm tidying up, we can we can contemplate our life here. Buildings. Let's organize this, guys. Oh my god. Okay, we got Oh, did I forget a building? Nope, I did it. We're good. All right, let's put all this into its own monster thing. Or uh, I would say plant sucker. No, I don't know. We should name it though, right? Things do better with a name. So let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, so we're choosing all our plants. Uh, if I move this, that's good. We're gonna put this in its own. I mean, we'll call it monster. It's not a monster. It's, it's a beauty. We're gonna call it a beauty. Beauty. All right, there we go. We got a beauty there. Uh, we got our fracture. What's in our collections? Okay, what is this stuff? Oh, so these are all foreground elements. So let's look at those. And we'll put them in the foreground elements. We'll move that into FG. Good stuff. 
Uh, and then we got our last two things in here. We'll put them into characters. Because I guess that's what they are. Okay, so we got characters. Beautiful. Let's turn it all back on. All right. Good stuff. Okay, so now we got our fracture dude office here. We'll call this fracture. That's zero, zero, zero. Do that. Uh, we're gonna make a new fracture material for it. Fracture. That's zero, zero, zero. Good stuff. And then we're also going to call the mesh what it is. Fracture. Just so we're organized here. I'm saving. Let's look at this this guy over here. Uh, let's apply all its stats. So you can see that it is scaled. It needs this needs to be one. This needs to be scaled. Uh, and let's also put the um, the origin into the the center of it. And I'm going to hit transform all. And there it is. It's all scaled up. Ready to go. Uh, it's over there somewhere. So let me do this again. Let me right click set origin to volume. Okay, save. Okay, so there's a add-on. I'm sure I heard you already know this, but I don't know how many people are here, but it, there's an add-on. It's called cell fracture. Oh, I already have it on. And Evelyn, good to see you. Thanks for hanging as always. We got cell fracture already on, uh, and then we're gonna uh, let's isolate this, um, and then we're gonna hit F3 and do cell fracture. It's gonna give us a menu here. I usually forget what I have to put on here, but there's a couple things I want. I would like uh, two different materials, one for the inside and one for the outside. So let's do that. It's somewhere around here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Blah, blah 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 recursive mesh data sharp edges apply split match to the split islands there you go interior vertex group we'll do that and we're just gonna have an interior vertex group we'll be able to select it afterwards the volume of the mask one blah 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 uh, and let's just try this this one and then we'll keep iterating until it works so this uh, cut up into squares. This is not. This is not what I wanted. See, there are squares here. That's not what I wanted. So let's do this again by uh, doing cell fracture. Should I do like a thousand? Is that the issue? Nope. I think sometimes you have to, if I remember correctly, subdivide. So we'll subdivide it a couple times there. Now we'll do a cell fracture. <laughs> it still did cubes. What is this? That's not what I want. Let's do it again. Um, noise? We'll put noise on there. There it is. There's my chunks. Alright, cool. So we got my chunks on there. You can see the chunks are their own individual elements here. Alright, pretty pretty decent pieces here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select, uh, I'm gonna put my, my 3D cursor there. I'm gonna look at this from above and I'm going to move the 3D cursor so that, manually. So let's go into the item here the, or view. 3D cursor, here's the, the view. Let's check off all the rotation and stuff. And let's just move this kind of like right around here, right? Then I'm going to select all these guys. So I'm going to hit A. Uh, I'm going to hit the period key here. And then do 3D cursor. And then here's the key here. Under options, choose locations. So I'm, I'm not going to affect the size of the objects. I'm going to affect its location with the scale. So I hit that location. So then when I scale, you see that it, it kind of blurts, bursts outwards, right, from that location. And that's because I'm in the center. But what if I did it, if I move my 3D cursor now to further to the back, back here, if I scale that, 
we can see that it scaled out a little bit there which is pretty 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 cool you know you could do the piece you can even rotate these pieces uh, by doing let's see individual elements right here and oh and then you have to take these options off and then you can rotate them individually and stuff which is kind of like a fun thing to do if you're into it but we're not going to do that so let's put in locations um, and let's do 3D cursor okay so I don't want them scaling on the Y so I'm going to hit shift Y and we're just scaling outwards honestly maybe we should just scale from the X so it's kind of like bursting out like this it still looks like a cube but we're gonna art direct this a little bit so we got it bursting out just a little bit and let's see if we can direct this in a way that makes sense um, I don't like doing simulations because they take too long and they could crash and all this stuff. I'm going to hit save. But I am going to try it real quick. Real quick. Real quick. Let's do rigid body. Uh, since I have all those selected, I'm going to hit right click. Oh, I thought I can like apply all these. Uh, I think it's shift G. And we can. No. L. No. Control L. It's not object data. Animation data. There, there used to be a way you can apply all these, right? Because right now only one of the mesh has them, right? So like... Ah, there's probably a, an add-on for this, right? Copy something. Uh, copy attribute menu. Copy global transform. Copy render settings. Let's do that one. Co copy attribute menu. It's control C. We can copy objects, location, rotation, draw options, time offset, duplicate, blah, 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 constraints, index, modifiers, custom properties. Hmm. Hmm. I used to do this. I used to do this. I just kind of, is it this? Copy to selected. That's what I want. Copy to selected, but it's not here. I think I could do it somewhere around here, right? 3D cursor item, transform tools, view, grease pencil, screencast keys. Create IV generator object. Oh, it's under object. I'm getting. I think I'm getting close. Feels like a game of hot and cold. Uh, rigid body. There it is. Copy from active. I think I did it. I did it. Now when I hit play, they usually fall. <laughs> Let's see, gravity set and everything, rigid body world. We're gonna do fracture. There it is. So they blow up and that doesn't make any sense. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna select this one and we're going to do mesh. We're gonna select them all. We'll go to object. Rigid body. Copy from active. So now they should all be mesh. 
They still blow up though. Is it because this guy's here? Let's see if we can disable this. There it is. So this kind of blows up. Still in a weird way. And from the back as well. Alright. There we go, we got that rigid body, blah blah blah. Alright, honestly, we're not going to do it the simulation way. I don't like it. We are going to do it... The meticulous way, just so I can get this done as quickly as possible. So I'm just looking at the scene. Let's let's actually maximize this scene here, so I can see it. And let's just start moving things around, uh, and we're gonna move it from the individual. Oops. We're gonna move it from the individual origins. There you go. All right, let's break up some of the 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 the, the blocking that makes it look like a cube, and we'll bring up the sizing down. Rotate it. It's a lot of G. Rotate, scale. Alright. We may even delete some of these. We'll delete. Nah, we won't delete them. We'll just bring them down. Scale them up. There we go. So a lot of these bottom ones that are like kind of weird. Honestly, I'm going to select them all. I'm going to do a uh, checker deselect. Where is that? Or oh, random select. Let's do that. Let's do select, random select. Bring these there. Rotate them on the individual axes. All right, we'll do it again. We'll do a random select. We'll grab. We'll scale them down. Kind of like this. We'll do the same thing. We'll do select, random, deselect, scale all down. Bring them out a little bit like this. Scale some of these that I think are a little big. Uh, and maybe even start deleting some of these. Uh, maybe I'll select all of them. Alright. Uh, and maybe scale, uh, move from locations and scale them. F not from the individual elements, but from the 3D cursor. Scale them a little bit upwards here. There we go. Uh, and we'll continue to... Now we're going to go back in here and then I'm going to take out the ones that I think also where's this ground okay I'm just gonna make that invisible for right now we're also gonna take out this okay we're also gonna make the fog thing invisible because it's annoying me there it is Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's let's do some 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 moving around here. So let's go to individual elements again. Oops. All right. We'll probably can erase this guy. We'll probably erase 
some little chunk over here. Where is it? Some of these little chunks. Let's get rid of these buildings. Look how easy it is when you can just take off things. Let's see rid of some of these chunks. This guy. One of these guys in the leaves. Alright. Honestly, we're gonna... We're going to select all of our cell fracture here. Uh, we'll probably move it a little bit in. All right. Let's look at it from the front. All right. Let's bring the some of these upwards. go some of these could be actually smaller pieces I love the color scheme gosh I love this color scheme so much nice thank you I'm glad it works I'm glad I'm glad I'm glad it works because I love it too all right so let's scale it up there you go all right those guys are in now let's bring everything else back and we're not even done with the color. That This is just some base color. Just some base color stuff. Okay, cool. So then we should add kind of like an interior to this building. So it looks like this is doing something. All right. So let's extrude it in on the X. Scale it down on the active element nope hit F actually let's let's fix some of this stuff there's some weird geometry stuff going on here it's pretty annoying so let's go inside so let's erase a lot of these faces some extra faces in there you know pretty god dang annoying all right let's erase that edge let's erase a lot of this stuff oh my god this building is just not meant for this do you actually do you plan on texturing any of it or simply changing the base color? Uh, I plan for a little texture, uh, mostly because of the constraint of how long I want the stream to be. But for the most part, it's going to be very stylized like this. I like the, the stylized look that this has going on. But a little bit, not a lot. Alright, let me select these, make another phase. Select these. We'll hit F, we'll extrude in, we'll scale down, but we'll scale it on the bounding box. There you go. Alright, the only thing that's unfortunate about the, the break is that it looks like it's breaking it off so perfectly, like the edges aren't like torn or anything. And that, maybe that's just something we, we aesthetically have to move forward with because I don't have time to sit here and make it work because I want to, I need to focus on some other stuff. 
Um, maybe what I can do is, let's see if we can do one last solution here. Uh, I'm going to get these objects and I'm going to duplicate them and bring them down and maybe just start lining them at the edge here and that'll help with the look. Like we're just gonna hide it, hide the line, you know? Cause like that line is distracting, and we want to cheat because we have no time. We don't have all the time in the world. All right, so I I kind of covered up the bottom. Let's cover up the top. <laughs> this is such a lame cheat, but whatever. All right, so let's move this up. So yeah, just me covering up that really harsh line up there. Also, we can probably do some more copying here. How about this one? All right, almost done covering this. Grab this guy. All right, now we're going to cover up the, the side of the building. The sideline, I mean. It's going to have to work. We're just going to have to deal. All right, this guy's just chunked out here. Let's see where we can get him. there we'll get all these guys up in front scale them up a bit get this guy you guys this is how you cheat this is how you cheat you cheat and then also you don't care you just you, you just just move on with your life and be like yeah I, I cheated a little bit I cheated all through math class man did I, did I not learn math when I was in school? <laughs> so much cheating. Okay. All right. And then we got some down here. Okay, cool. So I did a good job of covering all of the line. All the line, all the harsh line of my fakeness in there. And then I'm going to move this guy, this arm, a little bit further up and a little bit further in. So we'll move it down the X. There we go. Cool. Oh, man. <sighs> So that looks cool. We got some visual interest going on over there. That's looking dandy. We got the plant glow and stuff. How long are we in? We're two hours in, two hours twelve. I think I could spend forty-five minutes on textures and stuff, and then call it from there. Figure out the vibe and the move of, of this whole this whole look here. Um, should I make this building bigger? Let's see. Nah, we should probably be able to see it there. There you go. I like how simple the the little thing in the middle looks. So that's cool. We 
got some smashing rocks going through maybe I'll set those to rotate in a fancy way we're gonna make those glow um, we'll probably make uh, whatever is coming out of here out of the bottom tentacle we'll make that glow and that'll be the light that's like a spotlight that's hitting it um, and I think we're good I think we're, we're pretty good on this thing this this front here. I'm gonna save this. I'm also gonna save a copy, right? I'm gonna save as. We're gonna save this uh, as V2 because we're gonna be doing some interesting or some different stuff here that may not work, and I want to be able to. I want to be able to go back to this when I when I need to be right. Okay, so I got our thing there. We got elements the background kind of the gradient all right let's see if we can make this fog work we may have to abandon the fog but let's see if we can make it work there's something here that I'm messing up that I need to figure out how how to work how to work it all right, I'm gonna do a math node and we're going to do one color for right now. We'll just do pink. And we'll go into the density here. We'll also take off the grid. It's a bunch of different testing. So let's do power. Alright, let's do multiply. Alright, let's go back. Let's get the fog. Right, let's stretch out this fog. We're stretching it out. <laughs> All right, let's bring back some colors. All right, good. Seeing if we can make it work. I don't know if we can. Let's keep stretching this out. And we'll bring this I think just the it's just too big, right? My settings may be not good. Let's try ten thousand on the volumetrics there. Oh, I can set the, the start and end though, which is pretty interesting. So I can put my character just barely in fog or out of fog. There you go. If I put zero on here, let's see what happens. Oh, nice. So I just have to do a distance like this on the end. Oh my god, this works. It's kind of interesting how it does like these circle things for the fog. It's like It's like layers of fog like there's one there's another We'll just do one for now There you go about 4.6 We'll make it a little bit darker blue over here. Oh man, this is working. I think I made the fog work. It has to do with the fog setting, guys. The fog settings. Oh, volumetrics, I'm sorry. In your render tab. This distance does it all. Very freaking cool, bro. Okay, so... I have it at two. You can see how this circle is still there. Let me just put it away. There we go. And then you can see 
Yes, 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 yes. Okay, and then we can. What's interesting is we can bring this. There we go. We can put that. Okay, okay. That that worked out. That solution worked out. Okay. Okay, 2.2. We're going to hit save. Uh, what I'm looking at right now is like this right here. Is that happening because of this? Okay, I see what's happening here. This is happening because of the cube now. So let's get this cube. Fog cube. We can move the fog cube closer. Alright, let's figure out where our character is versus where our cube is. So... Where's our character? Our character's here. Where's our cube? Oh, our cube is like super long. That's what's happening. And just to make sure, this is not because... Let me check something here. The size is ridiculous. Let's see if we put it back to 10. Oh, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. All all that matters is that setting, huh? Oh, look at that. You can really control that. This is such a weird way to control all of this. I'm not sure of the science behind this. But this one, a thousand location and then a thousand in size looks like this but if we do 10 here and then we do 10 here does it look the same i think it does look the same let's do a render we could do a comparison render i forget we could do that so let's do 10 10 we'll hit f12 all right there's our render we'll go to slot two now we'll change this to a thousand one two three and then we'll set this to one, two, three. Oh, nothing happened. I can already tell nothing happened. So slot one, slot two, slot one, slot two. Oh, I think the difference is in slot one that you can see here in the bottom change. One has like less contrast. It's more bright. So if that's the case, what if I set this to one? put this to put these to one okay okay I don't know what I did or how I changed oh yeah I changed these settings that's those were the the big changers All right and then I have a lot of choices here. Let's save. I like this because it, it kind of lessens the contrast of the bottom and focuses more at the top here. I can't get over how good this fog looks. Me too! I finally got this fog to work out. It has a lot, look, it, it has a lot to do with the volumetrics settings here. Like once you change this stuff, that's where the stuff happens. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Uh, let's see if we can. Oh, we can move the fog backwards. I see. All right, let me go back. Save the, save this fog here. I'm gonna do a V3 just in case. I like I, I'm liking how this is going, but I want to do a little bit more experimenting since we figured out the fog so quickly. We'll do V3, uh, and we'll test out one more thing. So I'm gonna look at where the fog is. It's right in front of our person. So let's move them to it covers it. Maybe covers these elements as well, and we'll switch this up.
Okay, and if we added in an, a light directly to our character here, let's see what that looks like. So the light would be coming up here to the back. We'll set up the light a lot. Maybe too bright. 200. We'll make it an area. Yeah, I don't like it. Okay, I like how it looked before. So let's go back. <laughs> Alright, that's good. Let's go back to our settings here. I thought it looked good at 100 too, right? 100 by 100. It's crazy how fast it changes. It goes from like zero to nothing. All right, I think I'm gonna keep it at the one one ratio here. but one zero we'll save yeah we'll keep it at one one All right, and let's figure out this light situation. What's great is that it doesn't affect the fog too much. So I'm really am just lighting the scene here a little better. It's good how it looks here. I love that we've toned down the details of the city back here. I think it's pretty good. We definitely don't have to tone it down, but it's there. All right, um, just for fun, let's try some different colors. Yeah, if we had different colors, we'll definitely have to tweak everything about it, but. All right, let's erase this. Let's try some different colors here, just for fun. I think I'm gonna do the other colors though. Cause I like it. Oh yeah, but I have to make the top one also connect here. Yeah, so many color possibilities. We can have a lot of fun here. Honestly, I think I'm overworking it as usual. So we're just going to keep it how it was. Bring this back. Bring this back. But cube character, the brown one, will that remain in focus? Or are you going to replace it with something? I'm going to replace it with something. It's definitely not going to be a, a cube. I, I have like a these characters or whatever that are just like scans of people it just could have probably be that probably in silhouette or something make it dark dun 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 Let's try some different colors here. Color. One more time. One more time. These colors. Ah, 
Like I said, I'm overworking it. Let's go back to our cotton candy color here. All right, let's start figuring out some stuff. You already mentioned the character, so I'm going to change him right now. Uh, and it's just going to be a generic person standing. I have downloaded these from Kit Ops. They have like bundles and stuff. And that's what I'm going to put in here. Let's see. Kit Ops. Models. Nope. Kit Ops. Oh, characters. Um, objects. Okay, these are all our characters here. So I'm going to make sure I put this in its in its own right here. I'll put them in here. All right. Let's append. And we're going to select all these. And we're going to pick out which one's going to be the best. I'm probably going to take off the details off the character here. Where did these characters end up? Oh, it's in a plane. All right, so let's get all these and unparent them. Clear the parents. We'll cut the plane. There we go. All right, something generic, you know. All these scientist men. All right, we're gonna put all these in its own little thing. A standing one for sure. All right, I want one with a good silhouette. So let's hide all the ones I don't want here. None of the sitting ones. Hide, hide, hide. This guy could work. I like him. Hide, 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 hide. Clipboard man always works. I like this one because it has the most silhouette. -y. So I'm going to go off gut feeling and move this one over to the characters. And then disable our 3D here. So it's like he has tools or something. We're also gonna take away his materials, so he's not. He, so you can't tell what he's what he's doing here. So he's about the same size as the cube, which is pretty good. He's not looking up though. You know what I mean? Should he look up? All right, let's take away this material. Let's go to the object. Figure out what material is happening here. Ooh, I put a subdivide and I think I broke this. Looks like the panics of firemen wear uniform color would probably work best, yeah. I agree. Uh but we're gonna have to figure out something. I don't like it at all. So <laughs> So we may skip to texturing other things before we, we bring whatever this element is. Um I don't I don't particularly love it there's a lot going on here 
Should I just take this off? There we go. We took off the texture. What if we use like a decimate? Is it unsubdividing? It is not unsubdividing. <laughs> we can make them abstract about collapse. There it is. We can we can make it like a geometric shape. All right, we'll keep that for now. Um, kind of like a geometric destroyed shape. Don't like it. Don't like it. But we're gonna have to keep moving. It's not gonna. It's not gonna get any better here. Uh, so let's play around because I want to play around with some other things. So some things I want to play around with are. Um. Like maybe I should put a fog to cover up the legs. I think that's what I don't like. I like to cover up the front here. I may do that. I may do that. But before we get into all that, let's figure out. No, actually, let's figure that out. <laughs> let's figure that out because that's going to be the hardest part. I'm going to see if I can fog up the front here. Um, I have, from my previous render... Uh, a cloud material so let's bring that in let's bring that in 2022 live stream maybe it's this one it is that one but we got this one No, yeah, it is the one previous. This one. All right, I think I have it in here. Oh, I even have light rays. I could just copy that from there too. Okay, why is it in here? It's not in here. Is it in this one? Yes, here it is. All right, so I got some clouds here. Let's let's copy one. Let's move the cloud into its own little thing. Clouds. I call them clouds. It's really like smoke. It works for whatever. And he's back here, the, the thing. Let's see if we can... See if we can we can find it here. All right. See if we can scale it down on the Y. You can kind of see it in there. I'll be tweaking it a bit more. Oh, and I think what's happening is... Oh, I think I know what's happening. This is not good. All right, there's our character. Cursor to selected. We'll bring in our cloud. We'll do selection to cursor. So that we know it's right on there. All 
I think the issue is is my settings. That sucks. Hmm. Okay. Let's tweak some stuff here. This fog is like okay, but what it's not doing is What is this light? Oh, that's the we'll call this beauty light. Beauty light. Okay. And then this is called Maybe move the left debris piece further just to cover his foot. I think you're right. I think that's what I'm going to do. Just want to make sure that it's not one one of these things that I want to do here. So I'm going to duplicate this sun. It makes it way too bright. We'll do an area light. We'll bring this up. We'll make this 10,000. Ugh, I think you're right. That's the easier solution. We'll just do it that way. Wait, I think that works. I don't know. That may work a lot better, actually. What I'm going to take away is that cloud. It's like making my computer go crazy. So let's take away the cloud. You can even barely even see it. Yeah, I think him standing on something helps a lot. Uh, and while I'm here, let's art direct this little piece here. I don't like where this is at. Maybe like... Maybe make it smaller. There you go. Okay. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. If I were to put in depth of field here, is that dumb? Let's see. Depth of field. This character. Nope. We're going to call him char main. Okay, so then when we get the camera, we'll do char main. There we go. Then we can make it super blurry. But it makes the, f the background blurry too. It's kind of tough. Or should it be the the monster should the monster be should the beauty be okay let's try the camera with because the man itself has no detail let's see that okay there we go you're not wrong. Okay, so that's getting closer. I'm getting closer here. Uh, and maybe we don't need the decimate anymore to make it more interesting. He could just be normal. Or should he? Hold on. Yeah, he should just be normal. Some cool gradients you got going on there, GM. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you. All right, cool. There we go. Normal is better. We'll commit to that then. 
Um, okay, now some things. I think uh, the colors for the foreground elements. So I'm just going to make a material. Nope. We're going to figure out what this character is. We'll call this char main dot zero zero zero. Uh, we're going to make these the same. Char main dot zero zero zero. See if we can start start clearing this up here. All right, I see this is duplicated, so we'll do that, and then we'll do this. Okay, char main. Okay. So for these front grounds, I wonder if I should duplicate this, make it into the one, uh, delete these guys, uh, and actually make this darker than our purple guy here. So he's like really, really standing out there, really focusing the eye up at this monster here. Quote unquote monster. It's a beauty. It's a beautiful beauty. Okay, we're gonna get these uh, plants now. In the fluidity of the image, the ground being so bright is almost too standout-ish now, don't you think? But that could also just be a personal opinion, of course. Wow, uh, I don't know if, I just saw that text. Um, that's why I lowered, oh, I, I just saw that, but I was already thinking about lowering the darkness of the foreground elements, so. Uh, do you mean like the middle part here, the bottom middle? Because I did darken this up a little bit. So, all right, there's a couple things I want to do here. I want to p parent all these plants. Yeah, the middle part. Okay, I'll fix that. And we're gonna put. Uh, we're gonna just make sure it's attached or parented to the sphere here. Keep transform. So when I rotate the sphere, the whole plant can rotate with it okay so let's see if we can easily fix that there you go there we go that should cover it a bit there All right, since we pretty much have all this stuff set, I'm going to take off these composition lines on the camera. We're also going to take out some of these relationship lines. We'll keep the 3D cursor. There we go. All right, I think we're doing pretty decent here. We got our gradient, we got the monster. Okay, so now I want to see if I can enhance this more with some of these gradients and stuff like that. Uh, all right, so let's go into the plant. I'm glad we're almost done with this. We're almost at three hours me streaming here, so about how long I like to take this I would like to see Grease Monk is working on how to recreate a, a comic book a comic in his own style Kelly so many requests uh, yeah that's that's way in the future Kelly to do something like that I'm not good at making comic books uh, it's not something I'm super particularly interested in but um, I guess if you have any very specific questions about how to make specific things in Blender, I can definitely help you with that. If you want to make your own comic book. Okay, so that's going, we're going, we're going, we're going. Let's see if we can make this plant gr glow.
I'm just putting it out there now so you can roll you can roll into it in the future if I decide to roll it into it in the future Kelly if I decide that so yeah just putting it out there if I will roll into it in the future I'm not making any promises on that um, ba -ba -ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. There's a couple things I wanted to do, but I think it's it's looking pretty solid. There's probably some detail around the face that I like to do. Um, this being dark probably helps out a lot. Like, it looks pretty good. So, let me tr let me try out a couple things here. See you, catch you Thursday. Take care. Thanks for watching. All right, I'm going to do another mix shader. We're going to add in an emissions. <sighs> and I do this because I wanted to do the bloom, but let's see. <laughs> oh, it's so bright. Yeah, it's it's way too bright. I think the contrasty color definitely works better. I just wish there was something more going on with it. That's all. Like, like what if we do Fresnel? Oh, the Fresnel looks like it's doing something. There you go. There you go. That's kind of like the detail I want make the Fresnel really small though there it is and then we can uh, add in some gradients to this let's do that Do gradient converter map. colors here let me add in the pinks yep that's good let's add in a map node here I like this. I just want to see one other way we can do this. So I'm going to cut this together. We're going to do this with an input texture coordinate. We're going to do this with a vector normal. We'll do the object and we will do the dot.
Hmm. <laughs> oh, normal. Here we go. It's interesting, is it being green? <laughs> I don't want it to be green. might be not possible but these flowers as in a bubble like material would probably be too fancy i think i have a bubble material already made i'll, I'll see about throwing it in this is definitely interesting but not interesting enough what if we did this what if we did this i like this we put the normal here. Interesting color shifting there. How about reflections? All right, so I do have a bottle material that I made, right? Like a glass material that could work here. So let's try that. Let's try that. I'm gonna save. Uh, and we're going to append and we're gonna look for that bottle material. Like a bubble, like the ones you can blow when you're a child. No, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that the. I I definitely know bubble. Uh, I have a glass material that I can turn into a bubble. That's what I. That's what I mean. I'm looking for it right now. There it is. Let's see. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's see if it works. Right now my my thing is freezing up. Is that rubble pie about to consume that guy? I don't know. Maybe. Yes. I wonder if the light is like destroying the look here. Hold on. Nope. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Okay, so let me Okay, so I think I imported the wrong one here. <sighs> this is what happens when you're not organized. It's the materials here.
I'm <laughs> crossing my fingers. We will see. Hold on. This made me a little tweaking. It looks pretty see-through, but let's see if we can tone it down a bit. Let me just set some colors here. Here we go. Okay, so the color that is coming up the most here is the second color. And the third color. Okay, so I'm going to make all these black and we'll start from scratch. Okay, this looks more like glass now. Just a little bit. That color doesn't matter. This is the color that matters. There we go. We can add in some more vibrant colors here. So, it doesn't really look like a bubble, unfortunately, but at least we got some more detail here. We can make them darker. There it is. That's like the detail I'm like trying to like etch out here. There's the light, hold on. Put, let's put this to one. And let's fix some of this stuff here. Let me put it on the other, this other material here too. And the top one here as well. All right, I have to set them to all of them. Okay, there we go. Ah, I'm just glad I can get some more detail in here. Instead of it just being some black squares. There we go. We'll pick the second color now. I guess the pink should be, right? Pinks. And the second color should be like blue colors get some highlights maybe these should be switched this should be there and then this should be pink
What's great is I can also put this as a glowing material. So that it can it can glow if it needs to. So let's do definitely white with the highest vibrancy. We're just gonna do just just a little bit there. Uh, we'll control the light to be more up front. There we go. Let's give it a second color. The second color should be maybe not pink. Maybe a little pink. Put in the AO. Oh, the AO is already on. Okay, so maybe I can make now the the orb a little bit more contrasty. So let's do the buttes, the beauty, the beauty sphere. We'll do Cherik Tremaine. Uh, no, obviously not that. Um, what we'll do is, yeah, this time we will use, let's try out the, the tune shader I have made. Finally coming into use here. So we could do some art direction. Okay. Let's see what this looks like. I don't know why he's not changing. Oh, I know why, because it's going off of UVs. Let's go to generated. Now it should work. Hmm, nothing is changing. What is happening here? All right, let's see what's happening. Oh, did I just change? Okay, the beauty sphere. Click on that. There we go. Okay, we can undo this. Okay. Let's see if we can art direct this a little more then. Oh, it's going to be a, a process to 
to think about this and I do I wanted to end sooner so let's see I, I'm at three hours now one more hour I need to be wrapping up I'm gonna take off this light. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe I'll leave the light there. Maybe I'll make it into a point light instead. Times it by three. So it's just brighter up there. And we can contrast this. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We got some sharper edges up here. All right, let's keep it going. Let's add it for now. Give us some more highlight. And then we'll rotate it so we can get that highlight right where we want it. Right there. Good stuff. There we go. All right. Just has to be real subtle there. I might switch to the toon shader for these plants. Let's see if that's going to help me get a little better here. I also want to make these rocks a little contrasty. So there's still a bit to do here, but we're getting closer at least. Yeah, I think it being pink was good. Matches the look. We got a gradient going on. We'll keep that. I think we're going to make the center something pretty to look at, but we will see. All right, let's see about tune, doing a, a tune shader for these plants here. Let's do tune shader. Let's duplicate it. Let's call this plants. Zero, zero. Okay. Let's see if we can do something more interesting than than that. If not, we'll go back. It's okay. Maybe something more contrasty. Getting all silent here. I should be talking. All right. So what I'm doing is I'm just 
figuring out what's going to work for me here. I made them all green. Uh, we're going to mute this gamma. Uh, and we're going to... We're going to take off the Fresnel. Take off that, take off that. Alright. Make the bottom one dark. Honestly, let me do this. Let me set this one to white. And let me set these to some pink color. Figure out why my plant is acting funny. Oh, the Fresnel. The Fresnel is what's killing it. So let me take off the Fresnel. Jeez. It's going crazy. Some of these settings. All right, let's figure out a base color that looks nice with this blue. Because maybe it should just be this dark color. Let's see. Alright, let's desaturate this and bring in the white. Just rinse the tips. I'll bring the vibrance up. Same thing this, we'll desaturate this, we'll bring the vibrance up, but keep kind of like the colors going. I need something for it to contrast the background, which is the sky blue. That's kind of what I'm looking for here. Alright, then we got the third color. We'll just make it, or the second color. Let's zoom up on here. like a red color let's see if we can get that second color and then the second color is going to be the dark and this is where we're going to bring it in okay I think I like the other plants better, honestly. I think they look a little... A little bit more intentional here. Oh, I also forgot that I should be doing UVs. For these plants.
All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back. We're gonna put, put these glass shaders back on. They look better. We'll just get over it. Uh, the best we could do right now is potentially. Nope, not that. Uh, potentially change the colors here by putting it here. Do a mix. What's happening is also the light from the world is hitting it, so it's really tinting everything. You know. Alright, what are we at? Three hours, twenty minutes. Okay, we gotta do this quick. We gotta just decide. And we just gotta call it. So I'll tweak it for a couple more minutes. If not, it's just what it it's just what it has to be. Just what it has to be. That's the that's how the cookie crumbles. Let's just control it with uh, gamma. Uh because I already spent way too much time on this. It looks good, dark with the details, I like it. And then if we put the emissions up, they can glow even more. So that's good, that's real good. We'll save that. We're going to lower this here. All right, now a couple things I wanna add. Uh, I want the center eyeball to be something. So let's get me, let me get, uh, get all this back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this outer rim here. I'm going to do cursor to selected. Uh, I'm just going to do a UV sphere, uh, make it big enough like this. Uh, we'll hit shade smooth. We'll zoom up on it here. What are all these dots? Oh, there we go. Uh, I think we had a bottle material. Let's see if the bottle one works today. Oh, that's right. It's not gonna work because it's affected by the light on the outside. Not good, not good. Okay, we're gonna delete this. We're gonna save. We're also gonna do a little bit of cleanup here. I'm gonna hit file uh, and do cleanup. Recursive, it's gonna delete a bunch of stuff. Uh, we're gonna do cleanup, external data, automatically pack, and we will save. Just, there's, there's a lot of garbage in here that I've just been messing with. Okay. 
uh, something that we want to append. Now when we look at the materials, sh oh, let me erase some of these people. We don't need any of these D3 characters anymore. Well, let's go here and we're going to delete uh, the whole hierarchy. We'll hit save again. We'll also do a file uh, cleanup and that'll erase that as well. So there we go. Now when we go into materials, Go into materials here. Yep, we got nice clean materials there. All right, so something I want to append here is from here. Uh, let's try a couple ones. Let's do glass. So let's put glass on here. Like it. This one ends up working pretty well. We're going to uh, fix where the lighting is coming from. Uh, and also, take away this ground. This ground is killing me, man. Oh, it's not the ground. What is blocking me? Yeah, it's the ground, right? Okay, good. Because the ground is killing me. What? There it is. Oh, it's also the buildings. Let's take away the buildings. Oh, it's the fog, too. Okay, doesn't matter. We're going to look at this one really close and we're going to fix the lighting so it works out here. So it has a little glints on here. We'll make the, the glints a little smaller. We'll make it less bright. And we'll get it in so it looks like the sun's coming from the top there. We'll bring in the highlight. That's good. We'll bring in the second color. No, that is the second color. Third color. Right there, beautiful. It's looking great. Uh, we have the Fresnel looking good too. All right, we do have the Fresnel. We'll bring it in just slightly. Maybe we can change it a different color. Would that work? It would. Let's make it pink, just so just to add that little bit more to it. Uh, and we'll copy the same color here, so it's all around. There it is. We got a nice little pink, pink layer onto the glass. Looking good. Move it up to the top here. Beautiful. Should we make this darker? Yes, that kind of makes it add a little flare to it. Maybe we'll make this one darker too. And by darker, I mean more vibrant and less saturated. Oh, no, probably more saturated. Darker there. There we go. Got a little glint on there, looking beautiful. There's a little stuff going on. Uh, and then we'll keep the glass thing up and the transparency. We'll keep it like that. And then we'll do one last thing. We'll put a modifier on here and we will do a solidify. I'm gonna speed run this, guys. Uh, solidify and this is how we can add in that extra glass looking thing like this all right even thickness actually doesn't work out it doesn't look too good there we go There we go. Alright, how does that look in camera? Maybe it doesn't look great. We'll go here. Eh, maybe we'll take off the solidify. It'll just be a nice little glass there. Uh, that's good. We are going to bring back our buildings. That looks great. We may make the tentacles dark. That'll lead the eye a little better, give it a little bit more contrast. Uh, and maybe we will, uh, for the the orb here, uh, we will go to the materials. We will make a new material. We will do the GM solo. We'll do a duplication of that one. We will select the outer rim here. We will hit a sign onto the second one because then on the second one here, we will 
uh, add in the gamma and make it darker. Maybe darker is better. Maybe we can. We can change, definitely change the lighting and what direction it's being lit. Make it super not realistic here. Add in some contrast like that. Alright, so I see the gradient's happening. Alright, let's see if I can just change the hue. Ba ba ba, hue. Definitely change the hue of the center piece there. So if we put 0.5. And I just darken the value. Maybe that makes it stand out a little more, more like a bullseye for the eye. Uh, maybe that's good. Maybe not. Let's see. Nope. Yep. It's way better with the bullseye in the eye. That looks good. We got plants growing all over it. Okay. So for these uh, tubes up here, we'll call these tubes. Uh, let's fix a couple of things where maybe I want them to be thinner. Let's see what they look like thinner. No, they look pretty good thick. Thick. All right. Uh, and then we're going to do char main or char normal. Um, maybe they shouldn't be. Maybe they should be white. Let's see if we can add in a little bit of a color to them. There we go. Just make them slightly more contrast. Since it's a principal shader, we can obviously add the metallic. Let's see if metallic helps. And put the roughness down. Kind of gives it a, you know, a little bit of a better look there. Boom going in uh, all right so we got this going on we got our guy all right so for our fractures let's click on our fracture um, let's see where this guy's at here okay we'll do a fracture we could definitely add in a bunch of stuff there so I'm just gonna hit save uh, and I'm going to okay I'm going to add in a this GM solo we'll copy it we'll call it fracture we'll hit save uh, that's only one so we're gonna hit that zero 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 uh, we're gonna select the rest of these fractures uh, we're gonna hit this little icon here. We'll go copy selected to material. Materials is selected. Okay, we got our fracture here. Let's see if we can light these in a way that looks interesting. If not, we're just gonna have to keep going. Uh, yeah, we're at three hours and thirty minutes. So let's 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 keep the truck in here. All right, there we go. We can change some of these colors. Oh, this gradient is dominating. So let's take off the gradient. And let's take off the let's take off the for now for now. Uh, we're gonna take off the second light, and we're only gonna use the first light. There we go. Boom. Let's rotate some of these colors out. Uh, make them less saturated. just make this appear white just for now since they're super flat it makes them look kind of funky so there we go this is looking a little better all right let's see if we can take this okay if we can get the second color in the second color looking right there the second color can be like 
just a darker version of this one. So let's do this. We'll do darker. So bring down the vibrance. Uh, and we'll also hue, it, hue shift it a bit over to the a different direction just so that it looks better. Okay, we'll copy that into this one. We'll bring in the second color now. Uh, and we'll, we'll just make it dark for now just so I can see it. It's like super subtle here. Maybe I just won't have the second color. It'll just be the same as the, the first color. There we go. Uh, for the white, we could shift it. Nope, let's, let's just keep it white. Or at least like a light version of this pink here. We'll desaturate it just a bit more. There we go. All right, and now we can add, let's see if we add in a second light, if that adds anything to it. So such a weird, subtle thing I'm doing here. It doesn't, doesn't make too much sense. Nope, let's not do that. We can rotate some of these colors here. We just want just something something interesting that's going on here. Okay. We got this looking good. Spider, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So for this building on the right side, should we try a different color, like a dark color? So let's see if we added Charmaine. Nope. Like if the buildings were dark, would that make it look better? It does not. It should just be nice and white. And maybe we can even just change the overall. Oh, I can change them all. So I can just make this like super dark here, which is kind of cool. But we'll, we'll we can really focus in on the the dark here. There we go. And then since we're on this shader, mm, we could try some different materials here. So we do super specular, super shiny, you know, give this kind of like a, a f interesting look here. I think the dark helps out a lot, really makes it stand out. Maybe we'll bring up the brightness. The vibrance, I should say. Bring that there. There we go. Got the gradient, got the eye, got the glint, got some thing going on. So that looks cool. There's uh, this, 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 this section of this building here that I don't like. So let's fix that real quick. Let's figure out where the, the scene is going. It's right here. Is it this one? It is. So that's what we're going to fix by just deleting it. Let's delete the face. There it is. Now it doesn't have kind of like a, like a sharp look there looks good the focus is in the monster beast thing um, so a couple things I would like to do is let's set the um, uh, the length of this whole thing into about 600 that's usually what I do it at and I do it at 60 frames Ooh, I did 6600 we'll hit save um, we will see if we can add into some subtle movement onto this, so we can we can end this. We can end this stream. Okay, okay, we got the 600 frames here. Let's see if we can add in some elements here. Uh, let's figure out let's see if I should tweak the world background at all and we're just going to mess this with the gradient up here nah it's probably perfect how it was
cool. We didn't need to mess with that. I got lost, lost focus for a second. Okay, so let's see if we can. Rotate some of these rocks here to add in some visual interest. All right, so let's go into uh, the first frame that we're at. Uh, and if we rotated this frame, this rock, a whole 360 degrees, save that. What would that look like? Is it fast? It's also interpolated badly, so we'll hit a linear. All right, I wish it was slower. Would I have, to, I think I would have to like double. Oh, let's do this at 600. That's the issue. Let's bring this to 600. All right, this is good. That's a, a nice speed I got going on here. We'll do the same thing uh, on a couple of these other rocks. So let's get this rock. Let me look through the, the camera here. Let me take off all this nonsense. Sometimes it gets so cluttered here. I just take all that off. All right, let's pick some of these rocks that I want to rotate. That one's rotating. Maybe this one rotates as well. But maybe a different way. We'll hit I. We'll bring it to the end. We'll do 360. We'll hit I. We will sele we'll select these and hit linear. Okay, cool. And then we will do the same for a lot of these. Let's bring this to the dope sheet. See if I can just copy these much faster. So what if I got this one? All right. What if I hit I? I guess I have to do them a little bit manually here. Uh, we'll do plus 360. I linear. All right, there has to be a, a bit of a faster way to do this. So let me think here. All right. So instead of, we'll do the same thing here. Plus three sixty. Hit I. All right. Let's do this one up top. All right, we'll do, we'll go to the one. We'll make sure that the origins at the 3D at the volume. Oh no! There we go. And we will just do a single keyframe this time. Make this a little cleaner. 360. Single keyframe. Linear.
could I go to the graph editor and copy it? This must be an easy thing, right? Insert keyframe. And insert one here. We'll do I, our single keyframe, negative 360 minus single keyframe in here. I was gone for a few minutes. And return to this message. Oh my God, the plans look different now. Yes, yes, they they they're working a little bit better. Uh, I have them so they're gonna light up. I'm animating the rocks to rotate a little bit. A couple of the rocks just for some visual interest here. Maybe this one as well. Single keyframe. Plus 360, single keyframe, T linear. Say we're almost done. We're almost done with this thing. We're almost at four hours, which is the max I like to spend on these streams. But we're gonna delete some of these. Maybe we should delete that one. Uh, maybe some of these co that collide with this one. That one there. Oh, that's not the one. There we go. Maybe we should move this one. Mm-hmm. Do this one. Oh nope. Yep, we'll just delete this one. All right, we'll delete this one. We'll move this one a little bit out. And we'll rotate this one. And that's it for the rocks. Because I have no time. Plus 360. Insert keyframe. T linear. Alright, cool. So we have some floating rocks there. That's cool. Okay, and then the other thing I wanted to do is mess with the shining light and the camera will be the ending part, and then we're done. We're done, we're done, we're done. Okay, so then we'll go to the plants, and we'll go to the objects, and if I remember correctly, we'll do the emission strength. Uh, we were just going to put an eye on here. Because what we're going to do is go to the graph editor. Let's see the material here. OK. 
Okay. Uh, we got the material. We have it. And we'll add a modifier. We'll add a cycle. Nope, not a cycle. We'll add noise. And we'll scale it up. And we'll make it strong. Let's see how. Alright, let's restrict it from 1 to 0 to 600. And we'll blend in 50 50. That'll make it sure it loops. We'll grab this, we'll bring it up. Let's see what it looks like at its darkest. Doesn't look too bad. Alright, so for the bloom, let's set up some of these settings for blooming. So what was it at? Point zero five. We'll hit save. And I could change the bloom color. Oh, interesting. We'll just make it white. <laughs> the bloom with uh, it being one looks ridiculous. It'll be like. It's like it's a super glowing in there. <laughs> looks so intense. Let's do point two. Let's do point one. Let's be calm with it. Let's be subtle. Let's scale it. Offset it here. It's flickering because of the, the thing there, but maybe it's a little too bright.
Still trying to figure out like the perfect amount here, but. All right, that took a while. All right, so now it glows. We got some rotating rocks that are happening. It loops. It does good. Now the finishing finishing touches is just the camera movement, and then that's it. Just some subtle, subtle camera move. We'll m try to make it as subtle as possible. So we're gonna go to our camera. We'll go to the first frame. We will hit save. Okay, um, I'm gonna close some of this stuff here. Okay, and then I'm going to go into open up the uh, graph editor here. So let's open that up, graph editor. We're going to select the camera, or we're going to select, uh, press I, only add one um, thingy. Uh, I don't understand what's happening here. Usually it shows up in the graph editor. Oh, it's because it's unselectable. And whatever I have selected right now, wait, what is, what have I selected? There it is. So there's our camera. We're gonna do kind of like the same thing. We just gotta add in a modifier on the Z axis first, just so we can see how this looks. We'll add in a noise. Obviously, it's shaking around there. We will make it much more subtle and the strength much subtle. So, point one. Let's zoom in on this. Oh, you can barely tell, but it's moving up and down. Actually, we'll put it on. Let's put it on this rendered view, this solid view here. This is not going to be an NFT, is it? You know, it's interesting. Everybody, uh, there's a lot of people who talk about my artwork being an NFT and stuff. And I find it so unfortunate that NFT has an art style or look 
and that when people look at an art they're like that's an nft like the it like like nfts have a certain uh look and i think it sucks because i don't really care for nfts um and it sucks that my <laughs> the, my my style is nft worthy it's just kind of weird but that's just me yeah 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 and we don't have to get into the yes yes we we don't have to be in this you know chamber of uh you know nft suck you know we're all gonna high five each other nft suck yeah am i right boys am i right nft suck right am i right boys yeah yeah nft suck all that stuff i think the oh, the the bigger conversation or the more interesting conversation to me once again is that nfts have an art style and people are are trying to hone in on that art style and whatever that art style is the market or everybody who's doing it is dictating what that style is and once again this is not the first time somebody has talked to me about nfts when it comes to my art style is it gradients is it super colorful stuff and why does nfts get to have a hold on that it's kind of like you know shaving the sides of your head or having like a hitler mustache like it's like it's tainted this look or art style you know what i mean because that's what people think about you know nfts are kind of futuristic shiny minimalistic hyper clutter uh hyper cluttered often with bits and moving and sci-fi pastels yeah and and i definitely understand that but it's who decided that and obviously i know who decided it it's the general market and it's unfortunate that since nfts have a bad name because you know i don't like them they're not good they have a bad reputation now this art styles i would like to say is cheapened the art style is cheapened because now people just talk to me about nfts <laughs> instead of like instead of like an art style you know anyway that's my uh ted talk thank you for joining let me okay so this looks pretty good it's very subtle let's just copy the rest of them copy and we'll do it to the y and we'll do it to the z it's so subtle. I love it. Okay, let's see if we do, if we should also do a rotation as well. Why did the NFTs have to take sci-fi pastels from me? <laughs> God damn it. I mean, the block chain tech is interesting, but this minting thing is costly and it's only good for people who got of the gate you know and the uh got out the gate first yeah and like i said this conversation has been had a thousand million times you know blockchain and technology and blah 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 like um oh shoot Got to do something here. Six hundred. There we go. Now we can copy these. Like I said, I've had I've had this conversation about NFTs like a gazillion times. It's like it's kind of like having a conversation about. A president you don't like it's like he sucks am i right it's like he sure does yeah it's so stupid high five everybody we're all in the same club and i get in and i understand you know, we have to have these these conversations unfortunately right now nfts are like uh, a bit on the ponzi scheme side of things uh and there's already ways to do the thing that nft is claiming to solve uh and stuff once again the more interesting conversation to me is that now a whole art style is taken <laughs> and that sucks
Ooh, what what has happened there? Oh, okay. I guess that was part of like a loading. Okay, I think it's there. saving that all right i think that's it guys i think i made it i made it just over five four hours four hours and five minutes so at least it's under or at least it's four hours thank you guys for joining me on this whole journey i'm making this uh this artwork here uh it turned out pretty good don't mind the banding while it's like being shown here it's it goes away once it loads there's some um, moving parts it loops always goes except for that it's kind of like hold on let me just make sure that this is okay I, I think I'm gonna have to get over it but let me just make sure that I can't just fix this quickly the the loop is kind of harsh Maybe it should be like 50. Okay. What is happening there? 100, 100, 100. Should this all just be 50 instead? Uh, you said, can't wait to see the full red version. Would you post it on Instagram and Twitter? Yes, I'll put it on Instagram. I will also be uploading it onto the Discord. Uh, I don't have a Twitter yet. I don't like Twitter, but one day I may get one strictly for business. Um,. Now, let me see this without I wonder if this should be like something huge Oh, I know what's happening. Hold on. I got to fix a couple things here, guys. <laughs> the stream's not just uh, not over just yet. One one second. I forgot to put a different phase for these. So let's phase those out. Let's phase these out. Let's phase this out. Let's phase that out. Uh, or is it offset? I should probably do the offset. Let's see. This should probably be a hundred. Let's just do that. Th I'm just doing like the so for these modifiers on the graph editor um, to make it loop. I have to make them blend in and out. And I had them at like 50. I just needed to be smoother. I think you're always going to be able to see it because of the way I'm doing it for speed. But that's fine. Oh, and these should be set to one. That's also an issue too. One, 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 and 
one. Honestly, that might be the whole entire issue. Nope, it's not. Oh my god. Gimme give gimme give gimme give like a minute before I say my goodbyes guys. One second. I feel like this is like an easy solution of something I'm messing up here. Okay, that's that feels a little smoother. Okay. Okay guys. Thank you guys for joining me. Hope you guys had a great day. Uh, uh, you said can't wait to see the fully rendered version. It will be on Instagram. It will be on the Discord. It will be on my Discord. And I will post it on Spitfire's Discord. Discord links are at the the, the bottom. I'm glad you enjoyed the stream. Thank you for hanging out. Ferd, as always, thank you for always joining me every week. Kelly, thank you for the super chat. And Kelly, for, thanks for hanging out. Evelyn was here, but she left. Thank you for hanging. Who else is here? Jiraj, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Soapy Grenade was here for a little bit. That was nice. Stop by. Uh, and I think that's everybody. Thank you guys for joining me. Have a great day. Have a great whatever. Take care. Have a good night. Say nice things to yourself. Be kind to yourself. If you you need to be the first person who's kind to yourself. Feel the love. Go forward. Life is a beautiful thing. And it's ama every day is amazing that you get to live it. Um, have a great one, guys.